Ladies and gentlemen, the following singles contest is scheduled for one fall with a 15 minute time limit. Your referee will be Tom Dunn. Introducing first, he weighs in at 172 pounds and he is roaming the streets at night, creeping while you're sleeping. Here is Michael the Bomber Fassad. Michael Fassad on the way to the ring, but I gotta touch on, we just saw in the back that, I recognize that, that individual that was Conrad Kennedy III, who used to compete on this network in a pre-existing wrestling promotion. We haven't seen him in over two years, and I definitely remember him looking nothing like that. Oh, it's a completely different look. If that's who you're saying it is, and you're not telling me a lie like you normally do. And what was that I saw written? Crimson? I think something has happened to Conrad Kennedy. Uh, some sort of dark demon within has been unleashed or something. I don't know. We're getting the worst side of his personality. I don't even know how he got TV time here. We'll have to uh, investigate I'll tell you that. This. I, uh, to be honest with you, I'm nervous. I'm nervous. That, I don't know what he's no. doing. It, it's not CK3 uh, I remember. No. That was unsettling and quite frankly unsettling. He weighs in at 187 pounds and hails from Venice Beach, California. Here is Matthew Justin. And check out the energy and the physical conditioning on Matthew Justice. This Matthew Justice, every time I see him, he seems to be in a little bit better shape than the previous time. He's really been working out. I just, uh, you know, uh, all he needs to do is pull some tights here and there. No, I don't think so. Matt Justice took M Dog 20 Matt Cross to the limit, and, and I, that's not an easy task. Again, Justice, he's just shaking hands with his opponents. It's something I don't like to see. Facade being frisked by our official. Well, uh, rightfully so. Well, Michael Facade is a graffiti artist, a spray paint enthusiast. Uh, the, uh, the street slang for that would be suburban terrorist. He's terrorizing the streets, creeping while you're sleeping, Mr. McGuire. Yeah, well, uh, that makes me nervous also. I don't like when people creep while I sleep. I always sleep with one eye open. That's why I don't get much sleep at all. But again, and, and a second handshake by these two. Uh, before the match, I got a chance to talk to Michael the Bomber Fassad, and he told me he has a, a, a deep respect for Matthew Justice and what Matthew Justice has accomplished here in Pro Wrestling Ohio. Well, Matthew Justice has accomplished a lot. He's had a lot of tag partners had some single success as well. Both these men are very similar in styles. Matthew Justice, a high flyer. Facade likes to take the air as well, combine some martial arts as well. Uh, they're both unorthodox, that's for sure. And, and, and uh, it looks like we're gonna see all that right now. What chancery by Justice. Justice told me earlier, as I spoke with him, he said he likes to use a move called Air Justice. That's a uh, springboard clothesline. And he says if he can hit that, he is certain he will secure a victory over Michael Devine on the side. We saw him receiving him here at the, uh, the wrist lock. Keep in mind this hour of Jason Bain one on one with the Big Bear Benjamin Boone. You see great agility by Facade. Yeah, but Bain's not going to be here, right? Yeah. Uh, it'll be close by. It's okay, though. I, I, I'm sure you're fine. You never done anything wrong with him, have you? Well, I, I don't, I've never had personal animosity towards Bain. Or, I, don't, I don't think we've ever really had a problem with Jason Bain has a $10,000 bounty on his head. If anybody can rid... He does? Yeah, you think? If anybody can rid PWO of Jason Bain, old uh, this Yahoo to my right is going to pay up ten grand. And uh, certainly that's a lot of deep rooted hatred. Also, Johnny Gargano and Mike Tolar will both be speaking to us this hour. Well, I can't wait to hear from Mike Tolar. He's always had interesting things to say. He's always hey, got an excuse. Uh, call it what you will, but right now I just watched two guys in the ring flipping back and forth and some of the most exciting things I've seen oh, in Justice quite some time. Light on his feet there, but Justice able to take the sod down. It's almost like these guys know each other a little bit too well. They, have they ever been a tag team? I know Justice has had several tag team partners in the past. Not to my knowledge, but certainly for these gentlemen, it's almost like looking in the mirror. Very similar style, very similar state of mind as Massad sheds the gi 
And uh, on the receiving end of a head, it's right on top of the head. I'm glad to see uh, Justice finally hit that stage in his life where he can grow facial hair. Oh. And in the facade, I see him. He's on the outside. He's trying to regroup. Oh, look out. Justice lands on his feet. Cat-like uh, agility by Justice. Watch the facade. Oh! He's on the outside. Wow. I could have swore I saw facade. The back of his ankles made his feet hit the guardrail. Facade definitely had a very awkward landing. The key there is did Matt Justice get the worst of it? That's what we need to figure out. I can't tell who got the worst of it there. I know Facade hit his legs on that guardrail. And he's getting back up. I, 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 maybe you're right, Joe Dombrowski. Maybe Matthew Justice did take the worst of it there. Facade's another guy that won't mind putting his own body at risk to inflict damage on his opponent. We saw Facade put a lot of heart and soul. He was mad just seven weeks ago when Benjamin Boone came out on the short end. But you got to give him a lot of credit for standing up to a man who has not been pinned in PWO for almost a year. Oh, I, I can't take anything away from Facade right now, especially when you're watching this match. The only thing, problem I have with him is he says he doesn't mind putting his body on the line, but he likes to do it for the fans. Justice hits the guardrail hard, and both these men, they have a lot of mutual respect, but the bottom line is wins. The bottom line is title matches, and you only get there through success in the ring. It's a very pivotal matchup here as far as contendership ranking, especially for the television championship in the months down the line. And Fasada appears to be the smarter of the two individuals as he rolled in to break that count. He didn't want to win by count out. He wants to go ahead and pin Matthew Justice in the ring. No one ever accused Matthew Justice of having a lot of brains, but the bottom line is he's tough. Well, I know you never have. Yeah, that's pretty true. Matthew Justice, look out. He's signaling for something. What's he got? Somersault sent on to the outside. Again, there's that lack of brains you were talking about. No reason for him to do that. He should have just applied a chin lock on the outside. Well, that's not Matt's style again. If more damage is taken out of the opponent, maybe it's worth it. Instead, he's trying to please the fans. He wants to give them what they want to see. They like when he jumps and does the flips in the air and the cone helo. Well, what's what, what's going on? Out? We got a great crowd here tonight. If you have cover in the ring for two right now. Hey, this crowd is in a frenzy. They have enjoyed every second of PWO. And you can see them, they're giving both men a round of applause right now as they, as they approve of both individuals. Check this out, up and over. Sunset flip. Justice down to end up. Able to reverse the weight. Back and forth pinning combinations right now. Again, how well these men know each other's styles. They're in each other's style. I can't get over this. And they're going back and forth with these pins. The referee looks like he's getting tired. I know you're getting tired just calling it. And these men are in the, in the ring doing these actual moves to each other counter for counter. Another counter. What's going to happen next week when Gargano defends the title against Tolar? What's going to happen later tonight with Bane and Boone? What's going to happen right now? Justice, Facade, jockeying for position. The Northern Lights, beautiful oh, bridge, two and a half. Wow. I'll tell you what, right now, with everything that you just told me and the match we're watching in the ring right now, PWO has never been more exciting than it is right now. I will go on record right now, it's never been more exciting than it is right now. These fans are showing it. They're going nuts. Springboard, heel kick, Justice, head over heels. Hassan has the leg hook tight, got it, no. This is something else. This is a real treat for the fans that enjoy this kind of thing. I just wish Facad would go over and pull a chain out of his boots and hit Matthew Justice in the face with it. Facad, springboard, oh Arabian my God. Song. Justice. Is that a Sigma splash? Keep in mind, immediately following this match, Mike Tolar is standing by with the story now in the ring. Air Justice, ready to fly! The clothesline! Oh, that's one of his premier moves. Does he have him here? No. How did Facade kick out? This is unreal. If, if, if Justice would have went ahead and just pulled the trunks like I tell him to, he would have had the three count. Oh, and he's above that. 
Assad able to come around with a spin kick. And Justice is losing. Another reversal. Justice up. And down on Assad. The, hot the, rim. Move, yeah. the roll up. And Justice gets the victory. Hard fought, well deserved. Here is your winner, Matthew Justice. Aaron McGuire, what do you think about the athletic young stars of PWO? I'll tell you what. I've seen, this is probably the third time I've saw Michael Fassad in a PWO ring. All three times he's lost, all three times he's been more than impressive. I guarantee you, if it were any other opponent than Matthew Justice, Fassad would have won that match. Matthew Justice is on a roll right now. Whether I like it, or the fans like it, or anybody in the back 